Kenny Delco across the racetrack celebrated the 30th anniversary of his Gator Nationals win back in 1990. He's given Greg Anderson a run for his money here. Had the better reaction time, and then disaster strikes as Delco's car gets out of the groove, begins to turn sideways. The air gets underneath it, and Tony Pedregon, he is on the wildest pro stock ride we have seen so far in 2020. Just outside of the window of Greg Anderson was Kenny Delco just alongside of him, but it had a slow drift just to the inside of the lane. It may have been the correction to try to pull it back into the center of the lane that caused this car to take flight. Just a brutal roll here. You can see Kenny Delco's car, the counter steering maneuver, the air tearing the door off. And then as he goes down the racetrack, barrel rolling the car multiple times as it kind of pinwheels its way down the concrete retaining wall to the left side of the right side of the drag strip. It was a scary ride, the second crash in as many years for Kenny Delco. He got out under his own power. The car was removed from the racetrack and then we caught up with Kenny Delco after this moment at the top end. Jamie Howe's with him now. Kenny Delco was able to climb out of his car under his own power. He's already been examined by the doctors. Kenny, what happened? I have no idea. It was going perfectly straight, and then it just went sideways, and that was it. Didn't do anything. I uh, was going, coming through the traps. It was, wasn't, I thought it was in the center of the racetrack, which I think it was. And all of a sudden, it was sideways and flipping. So I and think it, maybe the wind caught it. Or I know you've all had of a sudden, it got really loose. 